piece of stuff. So, John, about the laptop. Um... You know, I'm the first guy who resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But in another way, maybe I tell her, getting her good graces. Maybe I will. And maybe I'll do just that. Then she'd remember my name has an H in it. She always spells it J-O-N. Because we're friends, John, this is between us. Oh, we are friends. We are. But Harley's... Harley? I don't know, Bruce. I'm torn here. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm floating. She's the most intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. What's your relationship with her? Your real one? I guess you could say she's my Harley. I'm not sure she's good for me, but I just can't seem to get away from her. You stop right there, Bruce Wayne. I'm tearing up. Look at this couple of weeping willies over here, <laughs> drowning our sorrows in caffeine and sugar. <sighs> if only Harley saw me, like really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley. You want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> I see. You're up to bat then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How can I get that with Harley? How can I make her see me? People aren't as complex as you make them out to be. Harley's smart, but she's still human. She can be manipulated just like anyone else. Anyone, huh? How does one go about performing this magic trick? Find a problem they have, and then make sure they think you are the only one who can solve it. Once they have to rely on you, they're yours. <laughs> We're social animals, John. Might as well exploit it. But how do you know what makes them tick? Too bad you can't just open them up and take a look. You'd be surprised what people will say when you just let them talk. All you need to do is give them space, and the secrets will spill. Uh-huh. Act interesting. Let them keep digging. Fascinating. Acknowledge that you hear them, but don't get in their way. Yep, yeah, makes total sense. Nice try. I've learned that manipulation can take on many forms. Some of them more subtle than others. Tell me more. Tell me everything. Get inside their head. Once you know how they think, you know what they want. And you use that. You know, one of the doctors in Arkham tried to get in here. Wait, wait. I have an idea. Let's try it out. First thing that comes to your head, what do you see? You don't think? Let your gut guide you. Mm-hmm. It's a napkin with coffee stains on it. Stubborn. Just like me. That's what I said. But then I realized I wouldn't get any help from the doctor by being such a stick in the mud. You're an interesting case study, Mr. Wayne. I think you might be a danger to yourself and others. <laughs> Is what Dr. Leland would always say to me. <laughs> now, this one. What do you see? I see Harley's laptop. Two in a row with a sarcasm. I get it. You don't want to let me in. 
What an illuminating evening this has been, Bruce. I feel like we're on the verge of a breakthrough. Let's try just one more. John, sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort, Bruce. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Oh, I'm sorry, Bruce. There's a line, and that's beyond it. I mean, she's like... And you're like Bruce. You didn't exactly hold up your end of the bargain. I don't make these coffee-stained napkins for my health, you know. Tell you what, though. Coffee's on me. Bruce?